Hey guys, this is Chuck here building the CRP4848 video number three. Today we're going to kind of talk about the gear rack, the gear rack mounting, and uh, the linear carriage components. Okay. Um, <clears throat> First off, a quick disclaimer, um, or kind of more like a shout out and a recommendation for you guys. Guys, I bought my kit from CNC Router Parts, and I bought the complete kit, 4848, pro rack upgrades, pro pinion upgrades, the uh, electronics kit, the proximity limit switch, the cable track kit, the whole nine yards, got everything in. And um, I've had just a slight few problems with, uh, um, I was missing one of my cold rolled steel rails and one of my gear racks actually separated from one of the flanges right here. Okay, one of the welds came loose. But let me say that when I called CNC router parts about the issues, even on the weekends, um, the, they, I told them about the problem, I was contacted, you know, within 20, 30 minutes of my, uh, email request and, uh, they contacted me back and as we speak, all my replacement parts are already in the mail with tracking numbers. So if this isn't, uh, a good shout out for good business, if you're first time getting into CNC and you're trying to piece it together yourself, um, you're going to have a lot of headaches and heartbreak when things don't line up, you need extra parts, things break, who do you go to? Uh, trust me, I've built one CNC before and it was a pain in the ass. Uh, this experience so far has been um, one of the best customer service uh, experiences I've had so far. So a lot of thanks to CNC Router Parts for that. Um, also, the kit going together, putting this thing together has been very, very easy. I am uh, about two weeks ahead of schedule in one day. I wasn't planning to be at this point for another two weeks or so. So that is a testament to how easy these kits go together with just minor um, skill required and patience with measuring and squaring things off. So uh, without further ado, let's get cracking with the video. And uh, I'll get you guys uh, some stuff and some tips and tricks, hopefully easier pain and suffering um, that I had to go through. Okay, the racks. This is a 52-inch pro gear rack from CNC Router Parts. It comes with the flange. And uh, the gear rack is nicely spaced off of the extrusion so that you can get full uh, engagement of your uh, linear motion gear when it's on there instead of it this being against the extrusion and the gear being off the extrusion a little bit so you only get 75 percent engagement this has 100 percent engagement which is really nice okay here's how i did this um the uh screws to mount this are um uh allen head screws and they go into button um nuts that kind of um fit right and slide inside this rail the best way to put this on is to um, put the nuts and the bolts together for each hole on there. Take off one of your bumpers and then just slide the extrusion or slide the gear rack through the extrusion all the way down. Okay? <clears throat> it lines up pretty easy, but I'll talk to you about the distance and the gap here um, and how to set those. You can see that it's different, and here's why. On a 54 inch rack, um, your distances are something like one and a quarter inches on one side and four and a quarter inches or 4.75 inches on the other side. That's because on your linear rails, realize if this is my adjustment point, right, the uh, gear is going to hang down like this and the gear is going to sit right there. So if this thing drives all the way up to the bumper and hits the bumper, there's a certain distance away from this from this side that the gear is going to engage, all right? And that distance is measured at about 1.25, uh, I want to say, 1.25 inches or 1.75. If you look in the plans, it gives you that exact measurement. All right, the bumper is, this bumper right here measures in at 0.88 inches, all right? In the plans, it says 0.75, so I used that, so I got a little bit of play. So I measured from the front of this, 1.25 out, and it gives me something like 2.3, 2.4. I made this distance 2 inches. So from here to the end of the extrusion, 2 inches long. And that gives me plenty of play. When this is up against the bumper, the gear is going to sit right here. 
right? So it's perfect. They got lots of room left for engagement. So if you do that, you should be fine. Uh, once the bolts are in there, um, how do you square this up? Well, basically what I did was I used my digital caliper and measured the distance. Real easy to do. Measure the distance from the top of this gear rack to the bottom of this rail ex rail extrusion or the top of the rail, uh, cold rolled steel, uh, the top of the rail to there. Use something that's, that's going to be easy to measure and you can get reproducible results. When I did this, um, it's a lot easier to do the inside diameter or the inside length of these two pieces and get a pretty rock solid reading. Whatever reading I got here... I tightened down this bolt and went to the other side and did the exact same thing so I got these two readings rock solid. Now I just take a little bar clamp like this, <clears throat> okay, get one of these bad boys and then for each bolt I stuck it like on the right here and then like on the bottom of my table there and just tightened it down until I made that reading be the exact same that I got and I did this along the whole length that helps you square up that rack and keep in mind that there's a rack adjustment you know the tensioner is going to hold that tension and probably pick up a little slack if you're off just a little bit okay but other than that really straightforward easy to do like 20 minutes to install those gear racks not too cosmic at all uh, the exact same process for the other side Okay, uh, that's gear rack installation. Now let's talk about linear carriages. These things, I was a little intimidated at first, but uh, now I'm not because uh, they were super easy to put together. Uh, the CRP, the way that they do their kits, um, all the hardware is laid out for you in little bags and little subsections. So there's super easy. Um, get the bag for your uh, particular um, rail your linear carriage and get to work so I'll show you which one that looks like you'll get a bag that looks kinda like this okay it says CRP 101 fast linear carriage fasteners it comes with your bearings in there and a bunch of screws okay alright all you're gonna do is on CR uh, CNC router parts there's a tutorial for linear carriage adjustment linear carriage adjustment under the plans and how to that shows you exactly how to put these things together piece of cake. Once you get it all on there, um, you'll kind of mount the rails and you'll go through that adjustment video on how to tighten it up and I'll show you how I did that in another video. Um, but really what I want to get across to you is um, some of the ways to square this up and uh, talk about some pro gear stuff. But my next video will kind of talk about the adjustments. Okay, so once the carriages are on and I got uh, the gantry riser on there, of note, please, 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 Mount your brush holders before you mount this gantry riser to your bearings because you cannot get to those bolts, which are about, a th I think they're three or seven sixteenths bolts that hold it out underneath there. I still got to stick one in there. I got to take this back off. Okay, uh, but squaring this up. So here is nice and flush and there is nice and flush. Here's how you do it. <clears throat> I got two soft face clamps right here. Okay, these little guys. Real light force, you don't need a lot, you don't need a rocket on there, but kind of get this thing on there half on the, the tip of the gantry riser and half on the block of the linear carriage. Cinch the front together, cinch the back together, put the bolts on. It is probably one of the easier operations that you'll do in the build of the machine. Okay, now, if uh, you have ordered the Pro Rack and Pinion upgrade kits, okay, Here's the disclaimer. You will still get the bolts that are in this kit, okay, that put your um, stationary bearing in there. You can kind of see that bolt. That's the length of the stock bolts. The pro bolts have to stick out so that you can get your um, pro easy tension kit on it. Now, where do you find this bolt? If you got the pro upgrade, it's in this box right here, okay? You're going to open this guy. Beautifully nice and packaged. And you're going to grab one of these kits, all right? CRP 301 Rack and Pinion Easy Tension Kit. Inside this kit, there's a longer bolt. It's not in here because now it is on my linear carriage. But grab the longer bolt out of here and use that to 
um, affix one of your stationary bearings that is non-adjustable. And you'll see which side too. It depends on which uh, gantry that you're putting together. But basically make sure that you pick the side that you want the, uh, the uh, call it the spur gear, the rack and pinion drive gear to be on. Mine's going to hang down on this side. All right, so my tension bolt needs to be on this side. And I do the exact opposite on the other side to make sure that they both hang down at the same spot. Okay, um, hey, I think that'll do it for this video. Again, uh, this is Chuck building the CRP4848. Um, this is uh, a video about the uh, linear carriages and the rack mounting. Okay, um, if you guys have any questions, again, post some comments. I'll try and get back to you. I'll be on CNC Zone. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Chuck. See ya!